We're giving this away at 2.5k in three, two, one. AK Frontside Misty. All right, quick pause. I was taking a look at my analytics and it turns out that actually 92% of you guys uh, that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you guys enjoy the content, um, please hit that sub button. Uh, leave a like on the video. It really does help out. As cringe as it sounds, I really do appreciate it. It's what keeps me motivated. So yeah. All right, guys, we're back with another video. Uh, we got three trade-ups for you today. Uh, these first two, probably already know. All right, like I was saying, uh, this first one, AK Slate, once again, going for the 20% chance. Uh, I keep doing these trade-ups over and over again because they're still profitable somehow. I'm not sure every other trade-up, um, well, a lot of the other trade-ups that I've been looking at, uh, they're profitable for like maybe a week or two, and then people figure it out and Obviously, the skin's raising, pro uh, raising value and stuff like that. Yeah, this uh, this AK Slate trade-up has just uh, been over 100%. Let's see that AK Slate. Come on, Gaben. Bless us. Bless us with that AK Slate. Or the Deagle. The Deagle would be money back, too. So, come on. In three, two, one. AK Slate. Okay, let's go. First try. Nice. All right, that's a W. Well, that kind of scares me because we hit the first one, the one that wasn't stat track, but the stat track version of this trade up is also um, profitable still as well. So we're going to be going for that next. All right. Come on, Gabe. Bless us with that two in a row. AK Slate. Stat track AK Slate. In three, two, one. AK. Okay, I knew it. It's too good to be true. Too good to be true to hit two in a row. That's all right. We got one more. We made our money uh, on the first trade up, so that paid for the second one. Not bad. All right. Last trade up. A little bit on the bigger end. So this last one is going to be a 13.33% uh, chance for the factory new AK-47 Frontside Misty. Uh, that's going to be another 13.33% chance for the uh, G3 SG-1 Flux, or the Auto Sniper T-Side. And it's going to be a 13.33% chance for the SSG-08 Big Iron. So the front side misty is going to be around $90 and the flux and the big iron are going to be around 30. So those are the profit hits. It's going to be around 40% profit as well. Uh, but if we hit the other three, it's not that bad of a loss. So this is actually a really good trade up. It's 125% uh, profitability without fees, 110 with fees. So still, still really, really good. I want to see anything from the shadow case preferably the ak frontside misty come on gaben two out of three ak trade-ups let them hit in three two one ak frontside misty oh. Oof. okay well that's around a nine dollar loss that's not that bad so a couple of you have been asking for a inventory showcase, so I uh, figured I'd just go through and show it to you guys. So this butterfly knife, uh, this knife I actually uh, traded up for, or traded for. It's pretty nice. About, uh, I want to say six, six months to a year ago. Uh, these gloves I bought from a friend. Uh, he unboxed them recently, so I figured I'd pick them up from him, so wouldn't have to deal with uh, the sharks and the scammers. And I also wanted to upgrade. Uh, this, the holy grail of the inventory, um, I bought a few months ago uh, for around 1700 So it's a bit of a purchase, but it's, uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, this Tech 9, obviously, you guys have seen this before. The minus $80. This was from a trade-up video that I attempted. Uh, this USPS was a gift from a friend. This Deagle I actually bought recently because I wanted to uh, have a little collection. Thought it went well with the op. So uh, the AK again, I bought. Uh, I want to say six months to a year ago. 
picked it up for market price at the time, which was around $200. The thing, uh, the thing I really like about it, obviously, the uh, the full blue trigger, and then the the blue sight. I guess we can go through the pins too. So this is uh, a genuine office pin. Um, I got this at ESL One New York in 2015. I attended the tournament, picked up the pin. Very, very nice. It's also where I got this pin. Next, we have my uh, M4A1S Cattlecraft. Picked it up at the same time as my AK and the gloves I had previously before I bought these. Um, so I want to say six months to a year ago again. Uh, paid around $190 for it, so I think I, uh, think I got a pretty good deal on it, but I wasn't buying it to sell it. I just really liked it. So yeah, thought it went with my loadout pretty nice. This operator obviously picked it up to match the gloves and the, the knife in the M4. One of the most recent acquisitions is this uh, 57 Tier 2 uh, case harden. It's a Tier 2 pattern. It's one of the best Tier 2s uh, that I was looking at, at least. Um, I ended up scraping the middle sticker and applying this, uh, this Cloud9 just because. It matches the blue nicely, and when you're holding it, the purple uh, reflection from the hollow matches the back of the gun. So I thought that was a little, little neat. Spent a little bit too much, uh, or a little bit more than I would have liked to, to apply the sticker, but it was worth it. And have this uh, Glock 18 Blue Fish, Blue Fisher with two complexity uh, Caddo papers on it. I think I bought that for like forty dollars, like a year six months to a year ago same time as I picked up the other skins yeah we also have this ESL one clone 2014 legends capsule with uh, Dignitas hollow in it these things are going for yeah but yeah we're actually giving this away so uh, stay tuned for that um, storage units these are filled with some cases uh, this is the storage unit I use to organize the trade-ups that I'm gonna be doing for fillers that I have for those trade-ups and then this one just has a bunch of random stuff in it um I could show them I guess yeah so this one is literally just majority snake bite cases I bought them like I want to say mid mid early February but yeah I uh, could have sold that when they were over a dollar but I think I'm just going to leave them there for a while. I also got some other cases in here as well. But, uh... Um... This has, like, nothing in it. These don't really need to see that. Sticky is literally just a bunch of random stuff. <laughs> like, I have the... Yeah, this... This is worth, like, nothing. Um... But, yeah. And that's about it for the inventory. So, catch you guys next time.